Good evening. My, na my name is Tom Davis. I am not a city resident. I am a Mason County resident, and, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak here. Um, I'm not, as you know, I'm involved in the Tiny Homes uh, Project with veterans, uh, but I'm not here to speak about that uh, tonight. I'm here to speak about something entirely different um, because it's concerning me. And one of the things that uh, I spoke at the, at the commissioner meeting today, uh, and as you know, the, the uh, commissioners, the county commissioners are purchasing the old Olson property. Uh, it's about 20,000, a little over 20,000 square foot of retail space and about 28,000 square foot parking area. And they're going to, they're actually proposing to make it into uh, courthouses. I can't think of a worse thing to do with that particular property because um, on one side of uh, the south side of Railroad Avenue, you're going to have a long-term uh, mental health facility, chemical dependency facility uh, that is going to service people, not necessarily from the county. And on the other side of Railroad Avenue, you're going to have people shuffling down from the jail in chains. Uh, and in between, you're going to have your business corridor. This is not a good idea. This is a very, very bad idea. For the, when I first moved here for the first two years, I went to every single council meeting in the city, in, in, the, in the county, and in the port. And the one thing I learned about that is that the three major municipalities in Mason County do not work together, do not even consider each other, either in their public policy or their economic decisions. We're, at a, uh, we're at, in, in deep problems here in, in Shelton, in the city of Shelton, and I have pretty well, and I'll admit it to you, wrote off the city of Shelton until we had a seven-person uh, committee. Everything changed for me. I, I, I saw hope for the first time. But you're going to have to fight because the, the county is, uh, the county is a, a bigger municipality. They did not uh, share with you when uh, you wanted to do the, the uh, transportation benefit district. They did not share with you when, when you wanted to do uh, the, the, uh, the public safety. All that would have worked out to the benefit of the county and the city much, much better than having the city do it all alone. I hate that, you know, we have enough divisiveness in this world, but at the same time, if you don't stand up for yourself, you're gonna be eaten around here. So I, I, I mean, I stood up for, for the city, even though I'm not a city, I'm not your spokesperson uh, during, during the meeting, and I will continue to do so, but it would be nice if some, some folks in the city uh, also stood up and said, this is really not a good idea. Everybody thinks it's a done deal, but this property, the Olson property is in the city, you have your own city police department, your own city fire department, your own city permit department. You've got leverage. You've got skin in this game. And if you lose this, if you lose this potential anchor retail property, you lose a lot because they will probably never, ever again build a, a facility in downtown uh, Shelton that is going to be over 20,000 square feet. Uh, thank you.